I'm Tony J. Salimi, internationally known as the Sifu Coach, and I'll be sharing with you on Prosperity Show what really happened throughout the journey that actually helped me go from being homeless to Hollywood award-winning uh, coach. And also I'll be sharing what is it that you can do to really transform and change your life and take your life from where you are to where you want to be. So I look forward to seeing you on the show and I look forward to connecting with you. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today I've brought you the see-through coach, Tony J. Salimi. Tony, how are you doing, my man? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. Well, besides us being so excited about having you on the show today, um, I really would like to thank you for availing us this time because Tony... Um, you know, he's an unshakable optimist. He's a visionary and he's a human behavioral and cognition expert that is internationally known and recognized. And he's internationally known as the see-through coach. Now, he's won many accolades um, for his books, one of them being the international best-selling author of A Path to Wisdom and also an award-winning book, um, Hashtag Loneliness. And he also features as an expert um, in the, you know, coaching documentary called Living My Illusion. He's also just recently spoke at a TEDx, um, you know, conference in London and also the London Business Show and also for the United Nations. Now, Tony gives inspirational talks on a range of topics and we've just brought him in today so that he can help us to expand the frontiers of human awareness and potential. Also, the reach of how we can actually, um, you know, increase the love in our hearts and actually be, do, and have lives that are worth living. Now, Tony, I tried, okay? There's so much that I could have <laughs> said, and um, I really tried to bring it all home, but we could spend the whole episode talking about your accolades. Tell us a little bit about yourself and um, you know how you actually became the see-through coach there, my man. Well, I started from very humble beginnings. I was born in a very tiny town in Macedonia called Gostiva. My parents were restaurateurs, and I recently lost my mother. And I am the youngest of six children and six. 13 grandchildren and six grand grandchildren that my mom left behind. And I grew up in a farm and I grew up with a, a family that really valued uh, work, valued community, valued education, and also parents who worked extremely hard to educate us and instill in us the importance that education has. But on the other hand, I also saw a lot of violence in our local culture. I saw a lot of violence against women and I just really felt I was different. And I really felt from a very young age, I'm there to make a difference. And I could not really be at peace with what I was seeing, first of all, in my family environment, how violence was targeted towards women, but also in the wider society and the inequality in the wider society. And I always wondered why do we have to uh, you know, separate people against their nation, uh, separate them by religion, by race, by education, and by all the different forms of labels that somebody gives you. And I literally felt that there's something bigger than that. And I'm here to equalize that. And I'm here to bring about peace. And I'm here to help people heal from within so they can see beyond what the eyes and our perceptual filters see and what we have been taught who we are, but instead actually finding out who we really are in a bigger realm of life. Absolutely. And um, well, first of all, thank you so much, you know, for that, um, you know, heartfelt introduction. And um, yeah, my condolences uh, with regards to your mom, may her kind soul rest in peace. Um, now, Tony, obviously your mission is bigger than both you and me. You really want to educate and elevate the minds and awaken love in the hearts of 1 billion people. 
does this why of yours uh, stem strongly from your background? I think the, the big why that I'm on currently uh, stems from every adversity that I faced from a very young age, including uh, being bullied at school, including uh, being faced with a civil war while I was a teenager in former Yugoslavia, where I saw everything that was built was destroyed and seeing a lot of people dying and abused and then ending up homeless on the streets of London and being able to really uh, question uh, what is it within ourselves that makes us these powerful beasts that we go about and we invade other countries and we kill people. And what is it within ourselves that really evokes this our angelic behavior so that we become human and then we transcend and we go beyond labels and we start really connecting with people from all races and from all religions. And then we expand our awareness of who we are. And suddenly we start to look outside the, the culture, the religion, the education we've been brought up with as children. So really the big why is really a cumulative effect of every single uh, moment in my life that uh, on one hand crushed me, but on the other hand really built me into a solid teacher, educator and, and inspired mission that uh, uh, I wake up every day to deliver and to help many people awaken to this powerful wisdom and intelligence that is God-given to all of us. And if we are to be able to harness that in a way that we educate this body, which is almost like a starship that can take you anywhere in new universe and really bring about miracles in your life, how beautiful our world would be. Absolutely, because if everybody else is at peace and has got self-love, then they don't have a need to go and fight or maim, um, you know, the person next door or their neighbor. Now, you know, Tony, you, you are viewed as an authority, you know, on the psychology of breaking through perceived limits. Um, and um, you having grown up, say, in Macedonia and in all that civil war, um, it should have obviously put you in a certain box because you were not in the army and you were not, um, you know, a, uh, a bully or, or somebody else that would, you know, go out there and hurt other people. And you also go on and maximize human and business potential and help people to achieve quantum leaps in creating healthy and wealthy and also meaningful um, lives. Can you just unpack this, um, you know, part of your work that you actually do uh, in order to help people have the healthy and meaningful lives that um, you are well known for? Um, I will start from high school uh, because at high school, I always wanted to really understand science, maths and computing, engineering, quantum physics, biology of the body. But also I, I really had three major dreams when I was in high school. The first dream, I always wanted to be a captain of a spaceship. The second dream was I wanted to be an engineer. And the third dream, I wanted to be a heart surgeon. And today, actually, I've achieved those three things in a very different form. Although uh, it's not exactly that, that, I have become an engineer and I studied engineering and I studied the psychology of organizational behavior at University College London. Uh, I have become space captain in a way because I take people through uncharted territories in their brain to be able to really travel in, in life and be able to create things and really be able to engage the innovation and be able to create things that they truly here to do. And I have become an engineer. So those three dreams and with my work, I do actually help a lot of people heal because my other part of my work is my healing work that I do. So I've really combined those three things about studying science and studying the Western world of who we are and how the Western world explain us what is it within us that makes us? And then really studying the ancient principles of the Eastern world, understanding the body, mind, heart, and soul connection. So whilst I was living homeless on the streets of London, uh, although the foundation that I built in former Yugoslavia was shattered and I was taken from university straight into the army to fight civil war, I dipped out these fights at the age of 18. When I actually arrived on the streets of London, the first six months, I really spent grieving and crying 
and trying to understand what happened and trying to understand my mom's decisions to take me away from war and send me on a one-way flight ticket to London and how uh, on one hand you are grateful for saving your life on the other hand you have this hatred towards your own mother for doing that and separating you because you want to die with a person that you love you don't want to leave them behind so it was quite difficult for me at that moment in life to try to understand as a teenager what all of this was about but then this inner knowing inner desires that i had since i was a kid started really pushing me to start finding jobs and i worked almost three jobs and i worked for 10 years with no break and i put myself back into education and i went back into one of the top universities i graduated with honors and then i started a technology career but my true love was understanding the technology that we are although you know a lot of people when i moved from after 17 years uh, creating success in the technology uh, arena when i started my journey to becoming a human behavioral and cognition expert as you said people call me the secret coach my clients call me that or call me dr love i a lot of people ask me how is it possible because you you were an engineer you are a technologist you know you were in it how is it possible for you to understand people and i said because i spent those 20 years actually understanding the technology that runs in us and everything about us has technology in it embedded and if you think about it i mean how amazing life is that we start life as a single primitive cell we call it single primitive cell but actually in that single primitive cell Uh, the wisdom the knowledge the intelligence to bring about the person i'm seeing right now which is you and myself creates all of that and everything we see in the world so it's sort of in 2014 uh, after i spent about uh, uh, five years so actually trying to find what is it that connects everything i sat down and i wrote my first book called a path to wisdom how to live a healthy balanced and peaceful life health inner peace and having balance in your day-to-day life are the three things every human being in the world needs in order to be able to unlock those hidden faculties that we all have to be able to fulfill our purpose to be able to go out there in the world and have a bigger why and do better things and you know improve our life improve our finances improve our business improve our spiritual self and improve the labels that we keep attaching to ourselves and and at some point you start really saying okay they're just labels there's so much more i need to learn and you become in one hand a student for life because there's so much knowledge and wisdom out there that we are now they exposed as a result of technology and also at the same time there's so much so many people out there who need what you've learned so you, you are able to transcend that to other people and empower as many people as possible so on on this journey i really connected at every area of my life and everything i've learned to be able to create a unique methodology which is tjs evolutionary method alone and the acronym stands in a simple nutshell without going into details of those 5 and 25 full processes that are designed to consciously reengineer your entire reality stands for when we truly acknowledge love we achieve the results we tend to call miracles so acknowledge love achieve result create miracles that's the acronym for alone but when you actually go deeper and work within the alone methodology you can help people deal with mental health issues you can help people deal with relationship problems you can help people using the methodology to actually create a very powerful business that is out there to resolve a meaningful problem for humanity so when people approach me about you know okay i struggle financially i go back i use the same principles and i help them become aware that they don't have a solution to a meaningful problem so we take them back into a process of doing a reality check against all of those eight key areas of life and then we use the methodology to really bring the clarity about that they already have for what is it they want to be and then they have those aha moments and tears in their eyes and they give me a hug and that becomes a very healing journey 
to really honor in yourself what is it that you are here to do, how to do it, why you are doing it, and what really truly inspires you within so you don't give yourself excuses or you procrastinate on that journey. Absolutely. So you obviously would see through them using the technology in your eyes because I heard at some point that your eyes have got 500 pixels. So obviously as a see-through coach, you are actually using the technology and um, you know, the, 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 there's the stuff that you have learned over there, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, Tony, you are a great example to the world right now for saying that your environment does not influence your outcome. A lot of people blame um, where they are, the people around them, and, um, you know, to, to the circumstances or to the person they have become. Can you just maybe shed a bit of light on that before we go into uh, talking about um, you know the, the eight key areas? I just really saw that you were living in an environment that was a little bit toxic, but look at the person you became now. So, I mean, is, is yeah. you know, yeah. um, I would say the environment does not have an effect. What I would say is the fact that no matter where you are, you have the opportunity to change and you have an opportunity to make a choice within the environment that you are. Because uh, it's by design that if, for instance, if we take a plant which needs a tropical environment, if we bring it to England, we'll have to create a tropical environment for that plant to survive. It's the same for people. Uh, we have this tremendous intelligence. If you take a person, let's say we take a person from a very poor environment and toxic environment and we bring them into an environment where there's opportunities you know there's people who do not judge you for where you came from and suddenly they come into your life and they start supporting you to really try to understand there are other ways of you living your life it will influence the way how fast you grow for sure if you are strong within the self and you have gone through a lot of spiritual work and a lot of inner work then for sure the environment has less and less an impact on who you are. But in a, in a moment where you're not strong and where those mental faculties within yourself have not been awakened and you haven't really understood the technology you have within yourself, then environment and people where you live will strongly influence how those faculties are being shut down or awakened. Makes sense? Absolutely. Absolutely. It does. It does make a lot of sense. And thank you so much for, um, you know, shedding light to that part. Now, part of the things that you help people is to achieve excellence, you know, in all the key eight areas of life. And uh, from um, knowledge, the key eight areas, well, of spiritual, mental, mental emotional, emotional, physical, business, financial, relationship and self-love self-worthiness self-confidence absolutely right so can we just maybe talk about two or three of those um because some people might not really realize um you know how important maybe it really is to have self-love and to be spiritually aware of your own self so that you can be do and have either a business or a life that's actually profitable and you can enjoy living in it well I'm going to ask you to choose three which would serve most your viewers and your listeners. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, let me see. The reason I picked up those eight key areas, it's almost like if you think about um, if one of these areas is not in equilibrium in your life, your entire life will be out of equilibrium. So I always encourage people to work across all of those areas and being able to truly understand how important it is to see yourself as a complete person rather than sort of saying, okay, I'm just a businessman and I'm not this. Right. Great. So if we, have, can, if we can go with spiritual, um, spiritual. business and business. relationships. Perfect. I love all three of them. Okay. So uh, uh, pick the first one. The first one, let's go with spiritual. Spiritual. Perfect. Now, there's a lot of um, different ideas in the world that describe us in, in certain ways of who we truly are. So for most people out there, there are a lot of people out there who they tend to disconnect from their spiritual self. 
So either they identify themselves as atheists, or I don't believe in anything, or I'm Christian, or I'm Muslim, or I'm Buddhist, or whatever label they give themselves. So as you learn about yourself on a journey to really true understanding your true spiritual self, at some point, I believe that every human being will awaken to the limitations of whatever label we attach ourselves, whether it's a religious label uh, or whether it's a spiritual a path that we may take to really uh, connect to the same thing that everybody's talking about, but it has a different label on it. Now, if you look at the body, uh, the body, the mind, the heart, the soul, and the spirit has a, a unique connection and a unique way of actually communicating to you through that alarm which i discussed earlier on so the body is the vehicle if you see it as for instance you have this ferrari let's say you know you are a car lover and let's say you have a ferrari but ferrari without an amazing driver uh it will just sit there outside your uh your beautiful house not being driven and not being used and not being able to go through those experiences that Ferrari can take you into. Similarly, a body without the soul, it's um, motionless. So the body will not be able to function in this physical world without the soul being present into it. And likewise, uh, a soul without a body is presentless. We won't see the expression of the soul in this world. So the soul is really that amazing energy, amazing light, amazing force, uh, the, what truly makes us. And the body is the vehicle through which the soul expresses itself in this physical reality. So whether we like it or not, there's something living in us, something that wakes us up every morning, something that really makes us thirsty for whatever thirst we have in our life. It could be spiritual thirst, it could be business thirst, it could be relationship, it could be traveling around the world, whatever it might be. So trying to understand the spirit outside the physical being and outside the realms of the polarized mind that judges everything through black and white and through everything we've been put into this world, it's part of the journey to truly understand and know thyself. And as we get to know our spiritual being, we know how to drive this vehicle. So it's similarly, a driver needs to go to a, uh, a lot of training through uh, driving school, especially if you're gonna be a Formula One driver of a Ferrari, then you'll have to have all those special people around you to consistently fine tune you. And this is where I come uh, into the equation with a lot of people people while well, I help them truly fine tune themselves the, so that they can truly listen to the engine and the heart of the car. So the soul and the body, uh, the person can truly understand those faculties without judgment of who they are in that moment in time, but being able to connect to the voice of their own soul or as many people would call it intuition or other labels. So spiritual awareness and learning about who you are as a spirit will truly benefit you. Now I'm going to link this up now with the second topic, which would be business. So, so far in the business world, we've had this disconnect between business and being your spiritual self. And most people do not understand how spiritual intelligence can really help you grow your business. And majority of people in the corporate world, they still conflict and think that spiritual intelligence it's religion because in many many businesses around the world uh they tend to move away religion from mixing religion with business now yes. that might be so because it can really impact how business performs but every human being has something that they believe in and it's not necessarily the religion that causes the problem it's how we interpret the things that we read about the religion and the cultural effects and programming we have about that specific religion. And being somebody who loves to study different religion and coming from two different opposite polar religions within my family, which we have Muslim and Catholic, I went on a journey to understand the two religions and then understand Buddhism, Taoism. I went and studied Kabbalah for seven years and I read the Torah and understanding all those ancient scripts 
that were written to guide us towards the same thing, which is finding the light within and how we can really collectively go on this physical journey and leave an impact behind and make sure we don't destroy our environment and make sure the children of the future have a place to live. So when you bring spiritual intelligence, it's beyond the labeling of religion. So uh, spiritual intelligence, it's an, a part that helps you connect to your true self. And there's no business in the world who would not benefit by the person who works in the business to have this kind of spiritual intelligence where they become extremely aware of who they are. Because when you're aware within the self, you become extremely aware with the person you communicate with. And the way you communicate, you instill a lot of love. When you instill love in people, they will do anything for you. You know, I managed multi-billion pound IT programs. I worked for governments, I worked for the private sectors. And it was my spiritual intelligence and the energy that I brought in every environment that I helped create tremendous success through the corporate world. So now I go back and I serve corporate uh, clients to help them truly understand how a lot of the business problems that are created are as a result of people problems. All right. And, and, and when you have that and you don't see it as a problem, but you start really understanding what is it that really creates a tension, a problem, financial difficulties, or maybe communication things, or products or services, or uh, you know, uh, processes within the business, or upgrade within the business, you know, having done hundreds and thousands of upgrades, technology upgrades and network upgrades. I believe every human being needs to be consistently upgraded in order to be able to function in this very dynamic, fast, and extremely changing world. So having that spiritual intelligence, when I go into business, the first thing I get them into doing a reality check with the business, what is it they want to uh, invest in? Because it's not about them investing in me. It's about really them investing in the problems they want to resolve. And what is it that the business exists for? First of all, alignment of the true values within the business. Because most businesses in the world operate through a lot of mixture of people from different backgrounds, different knowledge, different wisdom, different ways of being and different ways of communicating and understanding who they are. Right. And if you don't have alignment in the business of what the business is truly about and those values, then the business will be dysfunctional and eventually the cracks will show up. And usually when I'm, I'm brought in, either at the point of crack or at the point when there's a flood. Huh. And, and basically when there's a flood, you already the dam that was there to safeguard this pressure water is broken. So you'll have to literally deal with the aftermath effect first, then support these people through that, then create a new foundation and then bring people together into common vision. Absolutely. So that's where the, the relationships come in there because, you know, people are doing business with people. And if your spirit is not aligned to the next person, then how are you going to be demanding money off of them? So it is all really intertwined. I was taking notes while you were speaking there. Now, obviously, this is um, so much value and uh, our audience are going to be sitting and watching and rewinding every aspect of this um, show here. If if anybody just happens to have any questions there, Tony, what's sort of the best way people can actually get a hold of you? Or if you're going to be having seminars and people are around your area, what's the best way um, that people can follow your work and get to learn a little bit more from you? Uh, the best thing, the first introduction to this kind of work, which is uh, now taking globally, it's for people to be able to read the books of Path to Wisdom and Hashtag Loneliness and uh, Path to Excellence, which is going to be due in spring 2018. It's going to be published. Uh, they can go to my website, tonysalimi.com, and there's a link to all of my social media channels. And I tend to publish a lot of amazing content on YouTube. So people can follow me on YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel, but also they can actually subscribe on my website and they will receive a free chapter of both of my books just to bring them into the introduction of what really this work is all about. And... Um, they can follow me on Instagram. They can follow me on Twitter. I've got a couple of Facebook pages uh, designed for different kinds of customers. 
my main public page is for like um, business owners, entrepreneurs, leaders, uh, celebrities, and people to really get the feel of what I really do globally. But also to book me as a speaker for their events and uh, being able to run uh, uh, customized workshops for them or seminars because I do that as well. And uh, uh, other pages that I have, which is my healing work for people who wants to really uh, go into that world. Uh, there's the, my website. I normally don't publicize this because people Google me and they find it out. But it's healoneself.co.uk. And um, there's, uh, the books are available on Amazon. They are available on bookstores. So it, in Melbourne, uh, people go to their local bookstores. They can ask for the books and the books will be most likely uh, shipped down there. But they can uh, read it on Kindle. There's audio books that are made it available so people can start on that journey. And both books will bring them into a whole new different awareness because a path to wisdom, first of all, people will learn more in depth about the methodology, which is now trademarked globally. And I'll be starting uh, creating the workshops that basically um, start teaching people to become coaches of this methodology in their own business. And then I'm releasing a mindfulness course, which is about how people can uh, be more productive, improve their performance and make more profits in their, in their work environment where they work ex in their existing jobs or in their personal business as entrepreneurs. So this uh, uh, course will be on Udemy, in uh, either just before Christmas or in January. And I'll be releasing more courses as I go through because I have a lot of engagements for next year. I'm working on two personal books and I'm co-writing books with my private clients. And I'm on a next documentary because Living My Illusion just won a Hollywood award. So I'll be going to Hollywood in, um, I think it's March or April with my clients. So most of my clients who do my work, we end up really filming their journeys and we're creating uh, educational programs and documentary series to really help on this mission of empowering one billion people. So this work is not really for everybody, it's for committed students of wisdom and people who really want to do bigger things in the world and they want to invest their time, their energy, their money into developing themselves, developing their business and therefore then sharing that with their communities and with the world. Absolutely, that's a big calendar right there. <laughs> Uh, you're a man of many talents. Now, obviously, um, viewers, if you're watching this, this is the time where you really need to uh, consider subscribing to this channel because you will be getting, um, you know, all this tremendous value from people like Tony who are on a mission to inspire, you know, people like yourself of all nationalities, creeds and colors to become purposeful and disciplined masters of, you know, yourself and also to be dedicated and inspired leaders within your businesses, your families, your communities, so that you can also be able to teach others, heal others, and um, you know, be able to um, you know, help others step into their greatness and awaken their um, you know, infinite uh, wisdom and love. Now, Tony, you've been an absolutely amazing guest on this show today. What sort of last words have you got for our viewers um, obviously, this is the time when people are going to be talking about their New Year's resolutions. Um, you know, we're getting into a new year. So just something to empower them uh, as they step into a new life, new, new, new them or new everything else that you can um, recommend um, or any tricks that you know might work for them there, sir. If you are somebody who has been inspired by what we shared, the two of us today on this show, and wants to really transform your reality, transform your business, your finances, your relationship, your mental agility, your emotional mastery, and how you feel about yourself, then the first thing I would suggest to all these people is to sit down and create a plan of your life. I cannot stress enough how important is planning. And uh, as a result of uh, this work that I've been doing now globally, for the last 27 years, I've been consistently planning my life. Uh, from the moment that I was on the streets, I started having my visual boards and I started really writing in detail. As a result of that, I have my signature program called, uh, it's a five-day program, Vital Planning for Elevated Living, which I, people hire me and they fly me around the world to amazing locations to teach this which you have, you get to almost 400 pages of most inspired wisdom that helps you plan your life in detail to the point that it's planned every single day. So there's no room for failure of about what you want in your life. 
And it is this vital planning that now all of my private clients have to go through before they start working with me. So I cannot stress enough how important it is to sit down and plan what you want to achieve, but not plan in a say of being infatuated or being uh, exaggerating of what your capabilities are, but within your capabilities, within the awareness of where you are right now, see where, how you can make one step to the next level where you want to be. So if you are somebody like myself, who's very ambitious, I've been told that I do things in one year, what it normally takes people to do in 10 years. Or a lifetime. <laughs> or a lifetime. So, but it's not about comparing yourself. It's about really being yourself in that moment in time. If you are somebody who's thirsty for knowledge, for wisdom, and you want to constantly upgrade your inner faculties, then for sure get in touch because this is the kind of clients I love working with. And those are exclusive private clients I work with. But even if you are not going to be my client, you can read the book. The book has hundreds of questions, powerful questions that can help you go through those eight key areas of life and plan, create a plan of your life because those who fail to plan fail to achieve. Absolutely. Because obviously, I mean, anywhere you go, you can't hit a target that you cannot see. So you absolutely nailed it right there because um, if you fail to plan, you actually plan to fail. Now, Tony, I can't thank you enough for all the value and the wisdom that you dropped on this show today. Um, and hopefully we can be able to catch you in the coming years when you have launched a few more programs and we'll be able to invite you back again to, um, you know, you know re-energize us. And I really wish you well on your mission to uh, inspire, um, you know, a billion people. Thank you so much for choosing this platform. Uh, to also uh, make us be part of your mission there. Thank you so much. All the way from London, I leave you with love and wisdom. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man.